You know, when I come across birch trees, I always take some of the bark with me. Uh, I just peel it off with my hands so that the tree doesn't get hurt. And the bark contains oils, which burn very well. And this is excellent material for fire making. Okay, this grass here is pretty wet and in order to get it dry, I just tuck it underneath my jacket here. And now my own body heat will dry out the grass and I can use it as tinder material. So for our flint and steel kit, we need some materials that we can char. And I just came across this horseshoe fungus here, which happens to be one of the best materials for charring. Okay, now I want to show you how to process this horseshoe fungus here. Um, first off, we're going to peel off the skin, just like so. And I found that it's best to leave the uh, fungus on the tree, because this is just like a vise and the tree is holding the fungus for you. And as you can see, the skin here is pretty hard, so it takes some time to peel off all of the skin. Okay, so I skinned off the horseshoe fungus and now it's time to cut off some of the outer layers of the sponge here which is called amadou and this is the best material you can get from this fungus here because it's so spongy so now I'm going to cut off some of these pieces okay before we light anything up we have to prepare the bird's nest and I have taken the grass, which I collected before. It's much drier now, but it's not that dry. So I have put some of the birch bark, which I collected before, inside of the grass. And I hope that this will catch the flame. Inside of this tin here, I have some horseshoe fungus, which I have already charred. So now I'm going to try to set one of the embers alight. And yeah, there are two techniques with the flint and steel uh, you can use. You can either take one piece of this and put it on the stone. And then you just hit the stone with your flint. And this way you can light up the char. But for me, my favorite technique is when I just uh, take the tin, lay it open. And then I throw sparks inside of the tin because then I have a greater chance to light up one of the fungus here. Okay, so I have two pieces which are glowing and now I'm taking them into my tinder bundle here. Now I'm taking the uh, fungus that I harvested today and I lay it around the fire so that it can dry out because it's still a little bit moist. While the fire is burning down, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea.
Today for tea I have collected some pine needles. They are both high in vitamin A and vitamin C. Okay, now I'm taking the fungus that we collected and it feels fairly dry now after it dried beside the fire. So now the material inside of the tin gets charred, which means that it burns without letting oxygen getting inside of the box. So basically you carbonize the material and then the surface area of the material will get very fine and then it's able to catch a spark from a fire steel or from a flint and steel. Tea is ready and the char is ready too. So now let's try out if this char works with the flint and steel. Here we go. The flint and steel kit is working. I was surprised that it really worked all through the, the fungus was a little bit bad. But you know, uh, normally you should let the fungus dry for some days and then you will achieve better results. But it worked out today so I'm very happy with it. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned till next time. Let's go.